So now we're going to move on to Kevin Frederick over at TSA in Charlotte, North Carolina. Kevin, are you there? I'm here today. Hey, it's right, great. Man. Thank you so much for being here today, Kevin. Give us a little bit of, uh, on, again, an overview of what you do and uh, the presentation you want to give today. Yeah, certainly. Uh, if I could start, you know, I made my transition into the civilian community uh, seven years ago. And when I was going through the transition process, like a lot of veterans out there, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. So I, I went to a lot of interviews. I, I talked to the private sector. I talked to defense contractors. And, uh, and I, I basically followed the advice that I got from a lot of people. I know a lot of people get the advice is do what you love. And, uh, and I realized that I love to serve my country. So I had a couple of information interviews with, uh, with folks in TSA, learned about the mission. And uh, I, another love of mine is operations. So I wanted to stay involved in operations. So it was a, it was a great fit for me. And uh, what I'd like to do here is to, to try and let all those veterans out there know of the opportunity uh, that they have to continue to serve their country and continue to serve their country in a team environment and a fast paced uh, counterterrorism uh, type environment where you're basically every single day you are serving your fellow citizens like you did throughout the, the career that you had in your military. So uh, another selfish reason I'm here is because about 30 percent of the folks that we have in TSA are veterans. And, and, and I could tell you from experience, I've been in TSA now for five years. Some of our better performers are those in the military and some of our most satisfied performers are those that came from the military. Excellent. Um, so tell us a little bit more about the, uh, the, the, what it's like working for TSA. Sure. There's a, there's a lot of different opportunities. I mean, right now, if we're talking about someone that's coming out of their first enlistment, uh, what, what they would look to enter into, and, and in any job you're going to get with the federal government, you have to get through USA Jobs. So go on the USA Jobs website, and if you're looking for an entry-level type position with TSA, uh, just uh, put in the search there, Transportation Security Officer. So transportation security officers uh, and, you know, since TSA is 16 years old now, most of the folks that I have uh, working here in Charlotte, I also have the airport in Asheville and in Concord, most of the folks there, they started off uh, as TSO. But if you look at my mid-level leaders to the upper level leaders, those folks, uh, a vast majority of them have military background because they're dedicated, they're professional. Uh, the, the skill sets are there, the experience is there. So there's a lot of, a lot of opportunity for upward mobility in TSA, uh, not just within the organization you first joined, but there's also opportunities to transfer to other airports. Uh, if you're interested in when you're getting out of the service and you want to go back to your hometown, chances are there might be an opening uh, with TSA in that hometown and the transportation security officer. There's over 400 airports throughout the country uh, in every state in the country and, and U.S. territories from Guam to St. Thomas, Virgin Islands, that will have openings. And I just looked on the website yesterday, and right now there's 27 different airports that are looking for officers. So if you're looking for that entry-level position, this is a place to be. I mean, you get health benefits, you get uh, vacation time, you get uh, you, you start to accrue some longevity, which will help you in basically the, the different shifts that you can work in priority as far as that goes. But uh, uh, we find that the, the, the people that want to advance will advance. There's opportunities there. But you'll start off as a basic transportation security officer where you'll be schooled. Uh, you'll go through, again, we talked about training a little earlier on the show. Uh, you will be trained to do that, and it'll be a combination of two weeks in Glencoe, Georgia, uh, four weeks of classroom training at the airport that you get hired at, and then three to five weeks of on-the-job training. So you're not going to just get thrown into it. But there's a lot of technical, uh, a lot of technical machinery that you have to learn how to use, and there's a lot of customer service that you have to uh, uh, get used to as well. Um, but it, it's been very rewarding for a lot of people. That's your, your basic. So the basic officer coming in will get that initial training. And they'll be in a, in a probationary period for about two years. And during that period, X-ray equipment, you'll be using the uh, advanced imaging tomography. You'll be looking at uh, bottle liquid scanners. You'll be doing pat downs. But essentially, what your primary purpose is, is to ensure that no prohibited items or dangerous items are going to get through screening onto a commercial aircraft. Excellent. Now, give us a little perspective of your own back, past military background. 
Well, I started with Al way back before I think the dinosaurs were roaming the earth. This was uh, in the early 80s. We started out in the red line. So I spent about the first 20 years in the Marine Corps as a helicopter pilot. Uh, and of course, you know, we do a lot of uh, a lot of deployments uh, when most of my deployments were out in the West Coast because my wife had family out there. A lot of deployments. I had a couple of West Packs, a couple of UDPs. Um, but the last 10 years or so, I spent basically at the uh, uh, at the MEF staff level, the Marine Expeditionary Force level, as an operations officer, current operations officer, chief of staff. Uh, my last active duty tour was chief of staff for the Regional Command Southwest in uh, Helmand, Afghanistan. Excellent. Well, we appreciate your service, Kevin, and we want to thank you for giving us the perspective of what it's like to TSA and the opportunities there are there for veterans. Yeah, my, my pleasure. And again, you know, we're looking for those quality veterans out there. They are they want to continue to serve their country and make a difference. Uh, this is the place to be. Just go to USA Jobs or the, and you'll search on there and it'll give you a good background on exactly what the job requirements are and what it looks like. Uh, a lot of rewards there, too. All right. I appreciate it, Kevin. Thanks for joining us from Charlotte. And uh, I'll be getting on a plane from Dulles to uh, Atlanta shortly. So uh, I'll see some TSA people. Uh, appreciate it.